Okay, it's day 128. This is part two. And one of the things I like about being called a conspiracy theorist by CNN, and this is just recently, not just Donnie O'Sullivan uh, back in June of last year, uh, but uh, I, it's when I use their own articles to prove my point. Um, do you realize that my work is derivative of you, CNN? That is the point I want to make here. So now why are you calling me a conspiracy theorist? You're basically speculating about different people that might have killed all these nine Russians. I'm basically adding evidence to your work, your derivative of your work, to show you who really killed the Russians. Also showing you the modus operandi of accuse the other guy of the murders you commit. So it's just that simple. So if you don't remember the nine Russians in nine months, they basically tried to spread it out, killing one Russian a month. Um, and all of these are going to be diplomats, okay? So one dies swimming, one dies shot in the head, one dies the night of the inauguration. The guy who was uh, in Washington here that ran the residence of the ambassador, U.S. ambassador. Of course, Cherkin dies a few, uh, about a month after the inauguration. Um, the ambassador to India dies after a quick illness. Another one found dead in Athens. Uh, another one here, probably people remember this one, which for, the foreign intelligence ex-FSB guy, uh, his name here, uh, he worked for Sechin. You probably remember Sechin. Sechin is the guy who owns Rosneft, probably the one who sponsored the girls coming over called the Ros Rostanets. Okay, FSB, you probably remember that. It was about a little more than a year ago, uh, right after the inauguration or maybe in the tra even in the transition, I believe. Then, of course, we've got uh, other folks shot in the back, uh, another one shot to death in near Moscow. Now, all these were related to, uh, well, they're friends of Putin, friends of Putin, friends of Putin. Um, but they all had ties to Ukraine is the interesting piece to all this. So a lot of them had ties as well to Magnitsky, okay? So uh, some, some are thrown off roofs. Um, the, the, this was the guy who uh, was first thrown off a roof, then was shot. They couldn't decide, and then finally they said he died of a heart attack. Okay, so you get really almost a colorful panoply of all these different things. But this last one's interesting here. This Gorok, Gorok, uh, Gorokov, Gorokov, 53, severe head injuries um, uh, while he was moving a hot tub, supposedly. But he had all these messages about how this whole operation worked, how these WhatsApp messages as well as emails about how they were going to work with Bill Browder uh, and Sergei Magnitsky to basically uh, steal Russia by the pound. So of course he's dead. Now I gotta basically catch up with uh, Gorokov uh, to see if he's still alive or if he's uh, quietly now saying, hey I don't want to fall off any more roofs when I move my hot tub. But good example of the, the Diplomat Hotel really taking on an iconic, and this will come more as Watergate developed as well, the, the Diplomat Hotel in Hollywood Beach will now become known as the Russian Diplomat Hotel and almost the Russian Diplomat Roach Hotel. All this organized crime that the FBI engaged with, with these Russian diplomats, especially the Counterterrorism Division, especially JTTF, will become known as the Russian Diplomat Roach Hotel. You check in, but you don't check out.